Hi everyone. I was tagged by Dan at Dan's Permaculture Food Forest to do a video answering 10 questions about the pandemic. It's kind of a fun tag. It's You don't have to take it real seriously, and so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, I am also doing it outside in front of my bridal wreath bush that only blooms for a very short time every spring, and uh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I just love it. Some, some, someday, in a few years, this is going to take over this whole side of my garden because it gets really big and I'm going to have to move my garden So I'm not moving this. It's just gorgeous. Okay, the first question is, how many rolls of toilet paper do you have? I have exactly five and three quarters rolls, and I know this because I almost ran out last week and I happened upon a store that actually was putting some up on the shelves. So, um, the biggest change since the lockdown is question number two. My life hasn't changed at all other than I'm not going to work. I don't work, so I guess that is kind of a big change. <laughs> but I don't know. But um, other than that, my life hasn't changed at all. It's like I've been living my whole life in a pandemic. Who knew? Okay, um, question number three, what am I most grateful for? I am most grateful for the life I live. and the freedom to live it the way I choose. That's the most important thing to me. Okay, uh, number four is, what have I gone without lately? A haircut. And I have a feeling before this is over, this ponytail is going to be getting a lot bigger. I like, don't like it this long. <laughs> okay, um, number five, what am I missing most? Um, jumping into the car whenever I want and going to the hardware store. You know, I, I spend a lot of time at the hardware store. It's, I just love hardware stores, you know. I, I'm fixing up my house and it gives me ideas and, and shop, of course the shopping too, but it gives me ideas to things to do and, and I just love, I've always loved hardware stores. It's very strange. So I, that's what I miss the most. Um, number six is when was the last time I was at a campsite? Well, I was at a park last fall that had campsites in it, uh, but that's about as good as it gets. I mean, it's been 15 years since I went camping. Uh, number seven, seven is my favorite quarantine food, and that's easy. That's chicken wings. I am obsessed with chicken wings. It's pretty crazy, and I just buffalo sauce and I make them homemade buffalo sauce and put them in the ranch. I, I can't stop eating them. Okay. Um, eight is how am I exercising and working out? I do a little bit of walking and I really would like to, you know, so quiet here in the morning. I really would like to start getting out and walking in the morning, but I keep forgetting. I usually come out to the garden around and in my yard around 930 in the morning and I pretty much stay outside piddling around doing yard and garden stuff till four o'clock so I figured that's exercise. Okay and uh, the ninth question is what has been or will be my pandemic panic purchase? I've actually had two strangely enough both of them are kind of odd. Um, I went to get my cats usual for you have three, three cats and a spare and I went to get their usual 14 and a half pound bag of grain-free cat food on Amazon and they were out. I went to the pet stores and looked online. They were out. And I was really panicking because, you know, I don't want to change their food. It, you know, it's, it took me forever to find something they all liked, you know. And, um, you know, change their food too quick and they get belly aches. And, I, you know, I really want them to be on this food. I eventually did, after much scouring and on the internet and driving around, I eventually did find two 14 and a half pound bags. And then I ran into some yesterday, of all places, Walmart um, marketplace, and I picked up a six pound there. So they're, they're set. But I was really getting worried about that. I mean, I could feed them normal food, but I mean, like I said, I, 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 I don't want to feed them anything but grain free. And the other is, you know those little Dove chocolates that have um, dark chocolate and they have like mint in the middle or caramel in the middle or something like that. My favorites are uh, the Dove dark chocolates with the peanut butter in the middle. And um, 
I'm kind of hooked on this. I can't have sugar, but I do like chocolate. And I can eat one of those. And it's only got three grams of sugar in it. And I'm just really obsessed with these things. And when I uh, went to buy them, I, we were actually laughing about it when the toilet paper ran out. I asked the girl at work, I said, you don't think that people will start hoarding these Dove bars? And she's like, no. Well, guess what? I don't think people are hoarding them other than me. <laughs> I think they just everybody's just eating a lot and they like them too. So, yeah, I finally found three bags or four bags on the shelf last week at a store and I was running down, I was running low. And uh, I, I bought three of them and left one bag there. And then I went today, I found some more, a whole bunch more and I just went ahead and bought two. So, yeah, that's my panic purchase, <laughs> little peanut butter Dove bars, it's dark chocolate. Okay, so that's about it. I, uh, fifth thing is I'm supposed to tag, find the piece of paper, uh, five other channels. Something I don't normally like to do, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. So the first person I want to tag is my dear friend Steve at Steve's Growing Space. And I finally get to tag him first this time because he's, he's tagged me a couple times. So I know you're busy, Steve, you got all kinds of things going around, or, you know, going on. So, you know, if you have some time, do it. If you're not, it's fine. The uh, second person I want to tag is Woody at Comfrey and Hodenstead. And uh, I really like his channel. And uh, he's a really nice guy. And a lot of what he says about grafting trees and, you know, cider and stuff, it all just flies right over the top of my head. But someday, someday, I will figure it all out. The third person I want to tag is Joyce at What I Grow and Ella Allotment. She's there in the Netherlands and she has two allotment spaces and she's doing some flowers this year. So that should be interesting. Uh, the next person is uh, Lisa at Lisa's Green Leaves. Yes, that's the name of it. She just changed the name of her channel. I had to check. She does beautiful flowers and you know house plants and stuff like that. And back when I was in my 20s and I lived in a condo, you know, um, I did a lot of house plants and and uh, flowers and stuff like that. And when I moved into house, I I finally just kind of moved everything outside. But um, and then the cats, the cats won't let me. They they won't let me uh, have house plants anymore. So yeah. So the fifth person I want to um, tag is Stacy. It's Stacy's Country Cooking. She is by far, without question, my favorite cooking channel. And uh, she knows it because I, I, tell, I just tell her how much I love her food all the time. So yes, yeah, so Stacy, Lisa, Joyce, Woody, and Steve. If you guys get a chance, you know, do the tag. If you don't, that's fine too. So anyway, thanks guys for popping in and um, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.